Wolf's favorite spot beside the wood stove. Well, this is a video about how my redneck wood stove works. It's a high efficiency wood stove that I designed. It's made from three old oil barrels. There's a weld in the middle that puts two together. I also call it a snowmobiler's wood stove because it's six feet high and you can stand beside it and warm your whole body up when you're covered in snow after snowmobiling. These racks I have welded above it, that's the fast dry rack for quickly drying your hats and gloves, but you gotta watch it, it'll melt them. And the slow dry rack at the top, which keeps them warm forever, so it feels great when you put them on. I made the door out of the back of an Inglis or Kenmore washing machine, the old style that they made before 1990. The stand is just made out of some garbage pick stainless steel. The interesting thing about this, like any high efficiency furnace, it has outside air feed, which is beneficial because every cubic foot of air that goes out your exhaust pipe means a cubic foot of air that has to come in the cracks of the doors or the cracks of the windows or the edge of the roof and to keep the pressure balanced in the room. So open hearth fireplaces like on your wall at home are very inefficient because they suck so much air out of your house and have to bring in so much cold air to replace it. So when I built this building I ran a three inch underground pipe all the way through the concrete floor goes out the wall on the other side of the building. Here is a variable speed fan motor that's outside there on the wall and it, I call it my supercharger. If you want to make that barrel glow red hot and have hot dogs or cook your dog, as you can hear it's roaring, just a bit of ash dust storm in there now. You can adjust the speed, slow it right down. It's an AC motor speed control. There's a damper too. If you don't want to use outside air, you can shut it off and block the system. So when you have that thing cranked, a bunch of wood in there, the fan going full speed, the barrel actually turns white hot in the middle part here and it becomes so hot it becomes transparent and you can see the fire inside. Believe that, steel becomes in transparent. There's a hole cut in the barrels where they meet halfway up but not all, not all the way down here just to let the exhaust come out. Then I force the exhaust to do a zigzag. There's another hole cut here between the two barrels, halfway. And then there's the pipe here that exits. I made it run horizontal because that slows down the rate that the fire burns, which gives it, you know, a longer lasting burn, longer to radiate heat inside the building. The other advantage to have it running horizontal it runs a longer distance instead of going th straight through the roof, which gives it more time to radiate heat and more area to radiate heat from. Just a couple door hinges welded on it and a little homemade latch. And it sticks out far enough that no matter how hot the fire is, you can still touch this latch and not burn yourself. And a little stop so it doesn't fall down when you open the door. This uh, whole barrel device cost about five dollars to build. A couple hinges and temperature gauge off a garbage pick barbecue. The copper pipe running around it is my redneck small supply water heater pipe. It attaches to the water system of the building which works off that tank. It makes enough warm water to wash dishes or do small jobs or wash your hands. The great thing about having a central stove in the middle of your living area is that wherever you stand in the whole area it just feels like the sun is shining on your body so it has such a nice cozy feeling instead of just coming from one direction. 
I would guesstimate that this wood stove is right up there with maybe one of the world's most fuel efficient wood stoves. I would say it would get about 95% efficiency because when the smoke is going outside, and there's where it goes outside, the pipe is almost cold, it's just lukewarm, which means all the heat is being radiated in the building and used to keep us warm and not wasted in the environment. So I kind of think it's the best wood stove there is, and it's the cheapest to build, and you can cut your wood a lot bigger chunks, so you need less splitting and uh, less wear on your chainsaw because I cut my pieces two to three feet long because why bother making them shorter? The longer the piece, the longer it lasts and the more heat it produces with the least amount of effort. Whoa! You like it, don't you? And with regular usage, the barrels last about four to five years before they rust out in a few places and you have to replace the whole unit. It takes me about Hmm, how long? Three hours to make one of these devices. Not a bad deal for almost four years of use and no cost.